All right, so I got here pretty early actually. It's Friday. Yesterday was just kind of a long period of reading and working and I kind of want the students, cause this is kind of like my home-based classroom. I want them to get a better idea of who I am and how they can use me as a resource for these next few weeks that I'm with them. So I brought my monitor or my projector cause I, my computer does not connect to this one. So now I'll just be able to plug my computer in and show them whatever is on my monitor. It's a pretty gloomy day out, a huge bummer for after school plans, but kind of perfect for this. I actually really prefer whiteboards, so millennial. Their teacher does daily quotes and she had this quote about how adolescents experience exponential change and I agree, but it reminded me of James Clear's like 1% better every day or you're getting worse every day. I kind of want to talk to them about that because I honestly kind of feel like that's one of the most important life lessons. Why not teach them my life lessons? I brought in my own little projector because my computer doesn't connect with. Yeah, right? It's so handy. This won't take that long because mine doesn't plug into That's here. Really small right? Yeah. I got it for free. Really? Yeah. From what I'm going to show you all. All right. Can everyone see this? No. Haha. No. <laughs> can you see this, Brian? Can you see it, Cohen? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So your teacher had a quote of the day. You'll probably remember it says, Adolescence is interesting. I mean, all of life is interesting and all of life is transitionary. But I think there is an exponential growth physically, intellectually, emotionally, and there is so much potential. It was funny because when I was pulled out of this class to sub another class, it was a math class, and they were talking about compound interest. And remember when she said she explained uh, exponential? Like, does someone have a good explanation of it? Exponential growth. For math. Yeah. Do you have a good explanation? Can you, like, uh, summarize it really fast? No. It's okay. There's, it's, it's even like a vague, even if you have a vague thought. Anyone? Anyone? What about if I show this graph? Oh, yeah, I know what an exponential graph is. Yeah, what is it? So it's like 2 times 2, uh, 4 times 4, and yeah. 16 times 16. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the context, like in the context of why that's important to you, because a lot of the time in high school you learn things and you don't understand why you're learning them because they're just like random. Mm -hmm. If you have money or you're trying to earn money or you're investing money and it's compound interest, that means it builds upon itself. We'll use like a golden apple tree as an example. You could sell the golden apples for a lot of money or something. So you plant a golden apple tree, the apple tree blooms, and then it has apples. Then you pick the apple off the golden apple tree. Now you have like 200 apples from this tree, but then you can plant those seeds from that golden apple tree and then keep planting. So it builds upon itself. So you don't just have one plus one tree equals two. Now you have one plus however many apples you then plant. It's compounding, it builds on that. Here is what it looks like visually. And this is from this author, James Clear. So I read a book in high school called The Power of Habit, and this is called Atomic Habits, and it essentially just explains that habits make up every single part of your life. And so it's actually really important to think about. And that's why I liked her quote, because he talks a lot about, and you'll see like, there are very like, cross-disciplinary things and ways to relate these two. So he says, in terms of your habits, this can give you exponential growth. And what he says, your small habits make a big difference. It is so easy to underestimate, overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it's losing weight, building a house, writing a book, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal, we put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shattering improvement that everyone will talk about. Meanwhile, improving by 1% isn't particularly notable. Sometimes it's not even noticeable, but it can be far more meaningful. So in the context of school, it always talks about plagiarism. Do you know what actually happens if you plagiarize? I go to jail. <laughs> Why do you guys always say jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they throw you in jail. No, they don't. You get, you probably fail that class and then you'd have to say summer class. So like, what are the negative consequences of that? It's like, now you have an F on your transcript and you have to like show that to your, whoever is gonna request that. Like I had to submit my transcripts to be a sub here. So those kind of things kind of like affect you later on. He argues that if you're not getting 1% better, you're actually getting worse. Yeah. 
So I wanted to show you this as an example from when I was in high school, because I graduated in 2014. So I'm like 10 years older than you all, or 11. Yeah, I'm 25. So when I was a little sophomore, I started a YouTube channel. And now I have 136,000 subscribers, but I started eight years ago. And so I literally could have had no possible idea of like where this would go, but it was really fun. And it was a way that I wanted to connect with other people since especially like eight years ago, there wasn't a ton of social media and I wanted to expand outside of just Alaska. And in terms of like connecting with other people, it's kind of like manifesting on the internet. It's like putting your thoughts and ideas out there that you want to communicate with other people. So it's super cool because like even today, like my friend who I met through like a YouTube event is coming. He's like flying to come stay and visit me. I've literally never posted consistently on this channel, but I'm still like over the period of eight years, I've made probably like 400, 500 videos. You have no idea where this line will go. <laughs> it's called Emery Chase. <laughs> That's the only reason why I decided to sub so I could get more subscribers. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, and I also do. Oh, just kidding. You're able to like continuously move forward, but if you never take the step, you can't go upwards. And this goes for everything. Like you want to make sure that you're improving your mental health, your physical health, because it's all super interconnected. Even if you're just doing this in terms of like being the nicest person who always extends yourself. Like Jordan, you, like I haven't been in this school for like 10 years, so I was like, I don't know how it's gonna be, but like when I walk into a classroom and like you're greeting me and like smiling, it really does have like exponential growth. What'd you say? Yeah, well that's, that's something that you can work on. Like you start right here, but it's, if you don't try to improve your social anxiety, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse, you know? So it's like if you try talking to someone every day or if you try overcoming that social anxiety a little bit every day, then you're just going to get further. But of course, it's going to go like up and down the whole time, you know, but you want an upward trend. No, of course not. No. And you can't you can't tell until you you take a step back and look until 10 years passes by. And then you see, oh, like the people who have this type of lifestyle do tend to trend upwards and then people who have this type of lifestyle you know like drinking really really early because that's like you become addicted to alcohol or drugs if you do that super early then you're just setting yourself up kind of for failure <laughs> this turned into a dare talk thank you <laughs> that's it <laughs> what no the chart No, are you talking about this one? Yeah. No, you're so, no, you have so, and even I don't, like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm here. I feel like I'm, like, right here, you know, but at least I'm there, you know? It's so Yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you. I thought that was a really good quote, and I think this is honestly, like, one of the most important life lessons that I've learned is just try to do better. And it doesn't matter if you, like, don't do anything any, like, the day, as long as you're not, you know, going down, you're probably going up. All right, so today you have another short story and then questions. And then you had a question, so I'll look into that. Bye, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fine. Bye. What? Wait, wait. Um, yeah. aren't you? Are you related to um Candace? No. I wish, cause you were so excited, but I'm not. No. I'm not gonna see it, bro. I can't do this, bro. Why what? No, who's that? Candace. Candace, who? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you I think I was just almost pranked. It is the end of school. I think my 10 minute lecture was a success. I don't actually know, but it seemed to spark engagement in the class. Some of the freshman classes are really, 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 really quiet. And it's just like, they're not used to being in high school. Like they're freshmen and they just had to be on Zoom and then come to high school. These classes can be really quiet. So it actually kind of makes me feel better when they do talk and interact with each other. I think today was a good day. I think they liked it. All right, it is Friday at 1.32, the last week of school for seniors. I think today went well. I think some kids really, 
thought it was cool and some kids just didn't care. But I kind of love that about high school. You can't pretend that people care if they just don't. Because in college, you know, like people are paying to be there. They're theoretically choosing to be there, but in high school you just have to be there. So like, it's interesting. It's just a different dynamic. Just thought that that was like a fun little day in my life as a sub, so.